So I'm just sitting here on a bench, uh, and the atomic So I'm just sitting here uh, on a bench in uh, Hiroshima, Japan, and right behind me is the atomic bomb dome. And uh, on 19, in 1945, on August 6th, uh, the Americans uh, detonated a bomb about 600 meters uh, above this dome, and instantly uh, murdering about 200,000 uh, Japanese people, you know, many of whom had nothing to do with uh, the Second World War, besides the fact that they were living in a country that... Uh, you know, was on the opposite side. And I don't even really know what to say. Uh, I, I tried to make uh, a version of this video earlier and I just got too emotional. I couldn't even talk. So uh, I guess the biggest thing I, I, I want to say is that um, why the fuck are we still making atomic bombs? Uh, what the fuck are we doing? You know, have we not learned uh, a single thing? from this um, you know I also want to point out that you know with everyone watching uh, you know Canadians aren't really innocent in this either uh, if, if people remember during the Second World War uh, we put uh, Japanese Canadians in internment camps uh, all over the interior of uh, British Columbia so uh, all, a lot of Japanese Canadians who were living in Vancouver living on Vancouver Island living in BC or in Alberta uh, we rounded them up uh, we took all we took all their shit and uh, auctioned it off for nothing uh, took away their homes put them on buses and shipped them out to uh, work camps uh, in the interior of BC because the the Prime Minister at the time I'm I can't remember who the fuck it is but it really doesn't matter uh, they decided that there would be their policy uh, just in case any of the Japanese Canadians were spies, uh, that we would round them all up and we'd take away their, their rights as Canadians and we would dump them in an internment camp uh, for, for the wars over. And uh, if you don't know anything about this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post a link so you can read a little bit more about it below. Uh, but <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, this has been, you know, one of the most, uh, you know, emotional, sort of heartbreaking uh, moments that I've had on this trip and, and, and really even my life and it just sort of gives me pause uh, and I hate the fact that we're you know we, 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 we haven't we haven't really learned a shit uh, uh, from this day you know almost 70 years 70 years ago now and um, I I I I just think that I think that this is the one of the darkest days in, in all of human history that where this happened, um, and I hear that there's even a flame that they've got uh, lit here that uh, they said is never going to go out until uh, all the nuclear weapons in the world are disarmed, and I think that you know I think I need to go over and check that out next and, and learn a little bit more about this place. So. Here we go. So here's the flame that is here to symbolize all of the nuclear weapons in the world. And this flame is going to keep going um, to promote nuclear disarmament. Cases here are filled with thousands and thousands and thousands of little paper cranes and there was a Japanese girl who was exposed to radiation uh, during this attack and she developed leukemia and she believed that if she kept making enough of these little cranes that she would be cured of the disease and her story got a lot of attention in Japan and around the world and so ever since people have been um, making these cranes and sending them here uh, as a sign of solidarity and to promote nuclear disarmament and peace. 
And the bell you hear ringing behind me is there's a little paper crane up here that I'm going to show you. And this monument is for all the youth and the young people um, who suffered during this attack. And I'm going to go over and ring this bell in a moment. I want to try to describe it is uh, what it is I'm feeling just being here in the Peace Memorial Park in Hiroshima. Uh, this has been, you know, the most um, emotionally affected I, I've been by um, pretty much anything I've seen in, in my entire life. Uh, I just went through the museum, and they've even got they've got clothes of the people who, uh, like the clothes that the people were wearing. Uh, when they died in, in the attack and, and they were basically burned alive and they have the clothes that they were wearing uh, on display and uh, you know it's it really hits home uh, I just rang the bell uh, that is to uh, a memorial for uh, this little girl who died of leukemia and one of the biggest things that um, I learned inside this museum is that you know, there was 200,000 people that were killed as a result of the initial attack. But there are thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of more who died uh, later uh, due to cancer, um, due to uh, like keltoids, uh, which is like as a result of the radiation. Many people developed cataracts um, and many people died of leukemia. And so, you know, if you haven't got the picture yet, uh, <laughs> You know, figure it out. Like the, these, these weapons are like a just a destructive technology that um, you know need, we need. It needs to stop. It needs to stop right now. Um, we we don't need to make another uh, a nuclear weapon again in in human history. And the ones that we have, we need to get rid of them. Uh, I I'm not some pacifist that believes. Uh, that you know there's never a time for a fight and and there are some situations that you can only really deal with fighting but my god you don't need to fucking blow up an entire city uh, in order to make your political point uh, this has just been you know a, a staggering experience to me and and uh, I think that it's, it's also been inspiring in, in the sense that, um, you know, this trip is going to come to an end eventually. But uh, how I really feel right now is that I, I'm going to use this, uh, use this channel and I'm going to keep making these videos after I come home to basically expose the ignorance and the bullshit and the fear mongering and um, the, there's just the crap that our governments are still selling us to this day. Uh, you know, 70 years after the last, you know, Second World War, uh, to, you know, to keep us scared of each other, to keep us fighting, to keep us like sheep. And I, I really want to inspire people to think for themselves. I want to, I want to get rid of a little bit of ignorance in this world, help people think a little bit more critically, to examine their lives a little bit, and uh, and basically just make make the world uh, you know a better place and a little bit more peaceful and a little bit less full of shit. What you're looking at right now is a mound that is made up of the ashes of the hundreds of thousands of people who lost their life on August 6th, 1945, and they had a memorial service for them here afterwards. And this is made up of, these are the people who were cremated as a result of the atomic attack. And you know, I'm not saying that every, any Japan was totally innocent in this either. Of course, they did some terrible things during the Second World War. So did Canada, so did Germany, so did the United States, so did France, so did Great Britain. But wake up to the fact that the only people who gain from war are the elites, the fear mongers, and the people who own the companies that make the fucking bombs. You know, I'm fucking sick and tired of old men dreaming up reasons for young men to go away and die in war. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. And uh, if you haven't gotten the picture yet, I hope this one is. This mound is made of people 
who were vaporized as a result of an atomic attack. And if you if you can't figure out um, why nuclear disarmament needs to happen right now, you'll, you never will. You're a lost cause. Um, but those of you who watch this video and uh, we know we're inspired by the stuff that I showed today, I'm going to post a little uh, some information down below. Check it out. So thanks for watching. Um, please hit subscribe. And uh, if you've made it to the end of this video, I really appreciate it. And I hope you learned something. So thanks a lot.